Hello, Parsippany. This is your daily update for Tuesday, October 20th. Now, as of Monday, October 19th, the total number of COVID-19 cases in Parsippany stands at 904. This marks an increase of 19 cases in the past six days. Now, due to last week's holiday data for Monday the 12th, our usual weekly update reference points was not available. Now, this is the fourth week in a row that we've seen an increase in the number of positive cases in double digits. We are all suffering from pandemic fatigue. COVID has altered the way we live for the better part of a year. It has strained every part of our economy. From the personal to global levels, we can't do the things we want to do, see the people we want to see, or go about our daily lives without taking precautions. Every one of us is tired. I understand that. It's tempting, even liberating, to give up on the advice of health experts. It could be as simple as attending one indoor gathering, the leading cause of new outbreaks in New Jersey, are individual gatherings like this, or as bold as going on with daily life as if the pandemic doesn't exist. I don't think there's a person alive who doesn't understand the desire to return to normal. But the truth is that normal activities can put you and others at risk. COVID-19 not only carries the risk of death, but a lifetime of severe complications. It is not the flu. Despite dominating our lives for seven months, it is a virus we know very little about other than its inherent dangers. We don't know how it could impact you one, two, or five years after recovery. And those risks must give us all pause. We need to beat COVID-19, not ignore it. We have to meet this moment, and we have to meet it as a community, not just as a township, not just as a county, not just as a state. We are dealing with a pathogen that does not recognize borders, intentions, or time. If it can spread, it will spread. The sacrifices made by all of us in 2020 can be snuffed out in just a few weeks. Think of the sacrifices made this year by healthcare workers, first responders, essential employees, small business owners, parents, your friends and neighbors, you and your family, the thousands of families who have lost a loved one. We all have the power to ensure that those sacrifices were not made in vain. But that power is collective. It requires all of us. And I know we can do it because we've done it before. Our Parsippany community, our New Jersey community, and our American community have it in us to beat this virus. So thank you for listening. Keep taking care of each other. And God bless you all.